Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the future of the Italian Aircraft Tech Tree. Let's forget about the idea of adding a subtree for now over here. I already did kind of a video back in the day, you know, probably one year ago or something like that. Uh, talking about the future of the Tech Tree if the Romanians and the Hungarian subtree actually is added. But what if that's not added, uh, then we would have something similar to this, okay? This is just our opinion, me and Lazy. Lazy is uh, the one that actually did the images over here and helped with the research. So thank you, Lazy. And uh, basically, these are our ideas, okay? So don't take it personally. People always complain about everything, right? But still, um, this is just for us to actually, you know, wonder what will it be the future of the Italian deck tree? And it has not a lot of stuff, but some stuff, okay? So let's start with the lower tiers. Lower tiers, we didn't add anything over here. Um, maybe, you know, a Vampire FB-54, uh, nothing too crazy on it. Uh, it would be basically, uh, it's actually, it's um, misspelling over here, it's NF-54. Uh, but still, it is basically an exported model uh, that was bought by Italy uh, about the uh, basically the Interceptor variant, the Night Attack, the Night Fighter version of the Vampire. So it would be basically uh, the one that has the radar. We don't have it yet in the game, but it would be similar to something like the Venom, the Sea Venom, right? So, but in a Vampire kind of situation there. So very interesting, but it would be a cool premium to have it. Uh, then we go for rank 6. Rank 6, we have multiple aircraft. At first, we have the MB339CD. It is a light attack trainer, uh, great at turning, 926 km per hour max speed aircraft, 33 meters per second of climb, can carry 250 cals or two DEFAs with pods, has six pylons to take bombs, rockets, even magics and A9. So it would be kind of a lower BR over here, maybe with some early A9s or something like that, just to have fun with it. Uh, it's a trainer, nothing too crazy, non-guided stuff, uh, pretty cool, right? Then we would go for the Ghibli, or the A11. Uh, we added as a 1989 version of it, but it's basically the A variant, uh, but just in the its initial production run, right? So uh, basically it's a CAS aircraft that was built together with, e uh, with Brazil. So 30% was built in Brazil, the wings and gears and stuff, the empanage. And everything else was built uh, in Italy. So it is basically an attacker that has a very good uh, range of weapons. You would have the M61 Vulcan, you know, the Italian one. Uh, six pylons for bombs and rockets, normally unguided initially, you know. And two wingtip pylons for two IR missiles like the A9, okay. Has around 52 meters per second of climb and 1,050 kilometers per hour of top speed. You are shortly... Um, upgraded afterwards uh, with guided stuff, but then we can have the A11A that we're going to talk about it later, okay? Then we have the premium event vehicles, for example, uh, we can have the Impala Mark II. The Impala Mark II is actually a South African single-seat version of the MB236 uh, light cast aircraft. Very limited performance, only 870 km per hour of max speed. 30 meters per second of climb, six pylons to take gun pods and guided rockets, uh, bombs and stuff. Uh, he has built-in guns, I couldn't confirm it, but I think it's two 7.7 millimeters, so nothing too crazy. The gun pods would still be needed to be used with DEFAs and stuff. Uh, has flares and chaff, and the ability to carry the V3B missile, uh, which is similar, very similar to the Magic 1 in looks, but it is an A9J in performance, basically. So it would be a very interesting... Uh, kind of version of the MB-236. Uh, the original 236 is kind of limited to be in the game, so having a version like that with missiles and stuff could be kind of a lower BR. And then we have the Brazilian AMX A1. Same thing as the A11, uh, but, uh, you know, it's a CAS aircraft and stuff, but uh, already with a reconnaissance package, so probably this would have a TV guy, a TV system or something like that as a pod that you can take under the fuselage. Uh, I don't know when this was added. This was supposed to be like a, an early version of it um, to be added to the tech tree, right? It's not that the Italians didn't have that, but still, you understand. But it has two DEFAs instead of the one Vulcan because the Americans 
didn't want to sell a Brazil the Vulcan cannon for whatever reason, political reasons, right? Uh, should be able to use guided bombs and even the AMA-1 um, Piranha missile. So it can take some very advanced missiles, to be honest, for the BR they can be. You know, depending on the... I, I don't know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to guess a BR or anything like that. But it would be very, very interesting to see it over here. Then we go for rank 7. Rank 7, we start talking about the A11A over here as an event vehicle or something like that, or even premium. The A11A, uh, it's the same aircraft as the A11 over here, but it would be kind of a 2000s model of it. So, uh, avionics upgrade and still the same performance and everything, but um, with laser-guided stuff, better missiles, everything like that. So, that would be it. And the A1M would be basically what the Brazilian one is, but with the DEFAs and stuff, but a modernized version of it. So glass cockpit, HMD, you know, helmet mounted display, the usage of a better of, of better missiles, right? I think even the Python 4 is using this aircraft, but maybe just the Python 3 would be already uh, very good. Brazilians use that. Of course, the Piranha or even older A9s, um, you know, but uh, probably the Python 3 would be the most used missile in here. Um, you know, better RWR, apparently even a MAL system. I couldn't confirm it if you had it or not, but still. NVD and also using laser guided stuff and whatever, you know. So it is uh, the most modern uh, attacker that the Brazilian Air Force has, if you don't account for the Gripen. Uh, and of course, we added the maybe for all of these aircraft that are not technically Italian. Because it depends. I mean, the Impala could be added to the UK line, for example. Uh, the A1s over here, they can be added for a South American tech tree or Latin American tech tree if they are ever added. Or Brazilian tech tree or something. So if they are added there, there's no, de no need to be added here. But if they're not, uh, there is never, I mean, a, a tech tree such as that. Uh, then we would see it right here, right? Uh, then we have the team. 346 as an event vehicle here. It's an advanced jet trainer initially developed together with the Yakolev Bureau or company, <laughs> but they went in separate ways. Very similar to the Yak 130, 112 meters per second of climb, 1090 kilometers per hour of max speed. Grifo Raider, seven pilots to carry non guided and guided ammunition like the Mavericks, A9s, but also Mark 82s and unguided rockets and stuff. Uh, can use gun pods with 20 millimeters and a 50 cal as well, and even anti-ship missiles. So it would be a very interesting aircraft, basically a Yak-130 or 131, whatever you want to call it, um, in the Italian tech tree with Italian stuff. So it would be very, very, very cool. Uh, then for the tech tree itself, you would have the A11B, even more modernized than the A over here. Uh, it would be basically the same level of upgrade that the A1M had over the A1. This one would have over this one. So the A11B would be the modernization over the A11A, right? So uh, glass cockpit, uh, more advanced missiles, more advanced bombs, systems, whatever they added. So yeah, very, very cool. Uh, and then obviously we go for rank 8. Obviously rank 8 can be divided into other ranks, uh, like rank 9 or even 10, depending on what they want. So just bear that in mind, okay? Uh, we're going to start with its tornado line over here, the tornado uh, IDS 2010. It's an upgrade to the original one, so we would have the 1995 one, then the 2010 one, with better avionics, better systems overall, and MVDs. Probably got more modern missiles and weapons in general, right? And then the EA 200, which is basically a, a tornado ECR, so uh, a seat aircraft or anti radiation missiles uh, to be able to destroy. Um, you know, radars and anti-air systems, right? Uh, then we would go for this kind of line over here. Very weird that Tornado ADV is in this line, to be honest, because it is an interceptor and all the other interceptors before, like the F-104s, are in the other line. So for me, kind of doesn't make sense. The Tornado ADV should be over here, in my opinion. But still, um, yeah, the Tornado ADV, it's an aircraft that, I mean, nothing that I can even talk too much about it uh it's the same that we have in the game already then we would go for the harrier av8 uh, b plus uh, which is basically the most modern version of the av8 b uh so yeah basically is the one with the apg 65 radar 
It's not a knight attack version, it's more than that, so it has a proper raider. You can carry aim on 20s, a very advanced aim 9s, and all sorts of guided weaponry for the air to ground as well. So, very advanced version of the Harrier. Hopefully, we see it in the USMC and also in the Italian um, tech tree as well. And then, of course, the F-35. Um, F-35B, I mean, nothing too crazy that I can talk about it. It's a VTOL version of the F-35. Mach 1.5 max speed, four internal pylons and six uh, external pylons to take anything guided or non-guided NATO standard, right? Uses the 25 millimeter, millimeter gun, if I'm not mistaken, initially. Um, uh, initially would probably use the aim 20s and A9Xs or something along those lines. And obviously it is stealth, so very, very advanced aircraft. This will take a lot of time to be added, but yeah. MVDs, HMDs, right? IASA Raiders, MOL systems, advanced RWRs, ECMs, etc. Nothing that I can even mention too much about these aircraft, right? F-35, you already know this would be the VTOL version. And the main fighter one would start with the Eurofighters. So we have initially a Block 2 one over here. Um, so the F-2000A Block 2. So this would be the first initial of variant of the Eurofighter with all the air-to-air -air capabilities that he needed. One Mauser cannon, 13 pylons carrying initially the Mon 20s and A9s. Uh, no air to ground in his version capability. Uh, so uh, no air to ground initially at least. Uh, max speed around Mach 2.0 and climb is around 315 meters per second. Amazing aircraft for turning. Already have some videos talking about it. Then we would have the Block 8 upgrade on it. So uh, same performance but Full air to ground capabilities as well added, and overall be just better systems with new hardware and new mission computers, right? And then of course the, I mean, this would have newer missiles, maybe something like that. Um, and the late version would even have more advanced missiles. So even later versions of the M20 or the other missiles that they use, maybe the Meteor, may maybe a missile like that. I couldn't confirm it exactly, but yeah. Uh, so just better armament overall. So this would be a only fighter version. This would be with more advanced fighter versions, you know, but also air to ground capabilities. And this one with even better weapons, even better systems, even better air to ground. And then obviously the last aircraft that the Italians can have is the F-35A. This is the normal conventional takeoff, uh, still Mach 1.6 max speed, lighter than the uh, B variant, a lot lighter, like a thousand. 600 kilograms lighter uh, according to more most sources so it should be better overall in handling and overall just dog fighting and everything uh, the block 3f is uh, the one that we will probably receive so they will um, have the full capabilities of the f-35 over here and they're not limited by anything um, you know like the old uh, block ones and block twos had so apparently it would be the full capabilities of it so anything guided, non-guided, that the NATO standard can, aircraft can use, right? And this one should be better than this one, so it should be harder to get to it normally. It's what Gaijin does, right? Of course, self, everything. And then we have the two last aircraft that are going to talk about it here. The F-16B Block 5. It's a B-placed version of the F-16A, you know. The Block 5 would be very, very similar to the 10 that we have in-game. So no BVR and minor internal differences, nothing that we could actually realize too much in the game. Uh, so it would be just a cool B-placed version, um, very capped for like a premium or something like that. And then the Eurofighter 2000B Block 1. So it would be one of the initial, very limited, um, you know, initial operational capacity, a B-placed variant of the Eurofighter that we can have. Also no air to ground. Just air to air and very limited air to air apparently in some form or something. They don't mention how exactly that was, but still, uh, it would be just a B placed version as an event vehicle or even a premium if they want to, uh, maybe when the F 35s are added or something like that, right? And this is it, guys. This is the future of the Italian Tech 3. Nothing too crazy, to be honest, unless they actually add the sub trees that I think they will. Uh, I might redo the video that I did in this kind of not that far future, uh, but still, it would be very, very interesting to see some of these aircraft, especially the A1s or A11s, if you will. Uh, I mean, it's a Brazilian, also a Brazilian aircraft, right? So it's 
it would be very cool to see it in the game uh, since I am Brazilian, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. Bye.